back ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Feng Yun Cup it's the Dota 2 tournament with the Chinese teams Tong Fu versus DK they're gonna be playing up in the grand finals for best of in the best of five I'm like Santa Zanora could be solo casting this for now might have a co-caster coming on on later because it's a grand finals it is better with a co-caster but still I will be co I'll be solo casting this DK's for now and it's DK ban. versus Tong Fu two of the rather hyped up matchup matchups in this tournament. I mean Tong Fu did surprise a few but so quote quote Burden Gaming actually managed to carry his team to victory here. So they took out Speed Gaming. Remain. I'm a little sad about that one. They took out Speed Gaming and they punched Five through a lot of remain. other teams including LGD China as well as IG to get to where they are. So Tong, Tong Fu definitely earned this spot here and of course DK one of the um, superpowers in China right now. Really nothing to fault, apart from a few funny uh, plays from them from time to time, but I like the way they played against LGD in, number, in game number 2 before they made Ten it into the grand finals, remaining. stuff like that, very very shaky, but let's get into the draft here. We have Visage, Five we have OD, remaining. and we have the Kunkka being banned out here by Tong Fu. OD, of course, you want to take it out from Mushi as much as possible, and something that interests me, of DK's course, is Tong Fu liking, to to liking this support pick. First, they go for the Rubik, they go for the Nyx Assassin, just started off uh, with these two picks. And Rubik first pick, mm, it's okay. I mean, I think Shanxing plays the Rubik if I remember correctly, I'm not messing up with the Chinese names here. Shanxing likes to play a good Rubik and understandably Five Rubik is a good hero, remaining. but you don't really want him against every single lineup. Uh, and he doesn't work so well against some support, uh, against some some matchups because Timbersaw, for example, Tom is one of those heroes where Rubik really can't stand up against. He doesn't have enough right click power, he doesn't have enough nuking, compared to say someone like uh, Skyrath Mage or Visage, Shadow Demon. Stuff like that really take out a Timbersaw a lot better than a Rubik Nyx Assassin. So right now what they need is something in that tri lane to actually pick off that Timbersaw, uh, fo following up with the two stuns from Nyx as well as Rubik. And we'll see what they do Ten decide to run remaining. with, what will so decide to run for himself. A Luna usually is Five the right way because you make remaining. everyone's right click painful. But now they go for Disruptor, so it's a solo mid Nyx Assassin. DK we haven't talked about DK just pick. yet. They ban out Alchemist as usual. They hate that hero. They ban it every single game. And they ban out the Clockwork as well. Now the Storm Spirit clinks or removed. They were fearing a Lifestealer pick, I think, at one point. But in the end, uh, it does turn out that Tong Fu doesn't want to deal with the Lifestealer anyway. And they do pick it up. And I like DK's Luna pick here. Like Tom I said, Fu's Luna is the only pick. hero that would have actually made the um, Disruptor Rubik combo against Disruptor really, really powerful. And now that they've picked up Luna, they not only secure themselves that block pick, they also secure that Crystal Maiden extra firepower. That's something that's really underlooked because Crystal Maiden really doesn't have that right click punch. But yeah, something to note, of course, is the Doombringer. The Doombringer here, most likely going to be solo mid, so it might be seconds, mushy. Seconds remaining. It might be mushy. Uh, going to be played as Doombringer Five middle. It could remaining. be a jungle Doombringer. Very, very unlikely, but it will be ice, ice, ice on that Timbersaw. It will be solo mid Doombringer. Reserve Luna, time. Crystal Maiden. The two of them are going to be hand in hand. And we'll see if one more does come into play. One more roaming. Is there a Mirana? Mirana could be a nice option as well. Mirana is always nice to have on the team. You can rarely go wrong with Mirana, I think Sing Sing would agree as well. Tong Fu still have yet to pick up their mid, uh, their carry player. The Nyx Assassin, of course, can run off lane, or solo mid. Probably not going to be in a tri lane now that Disruptor has been picked up. But the thing about Disruptor and Rubik is, of course, the lack of right click power. So now it's going to be a little bit of a iffy DK's problem here. So Nyx Assassin is the off lane of choice. And they will have the Templar Assassin going to be playing up the middle lane. They could have Nyx Assassin one-on-one -on -one against Timbersaw on that safe lane and give Disruptor Rubik with another aggressive carry on the aggro tri lane. It could happen. See something remaining. out of the ordinary maybe. Um, I don't think any strength Five types would do remaining. for now. So they might need to go into something like an AM or something Reserve agility time. because strength just get eaten up by Timbersaw right now. So you Oh, you want to try and avoid that. So we'll see how it goes. Nyx Assassin will definitely not be having a good time against a Luna Crystal Maiden. So now 0-0. Zero, zero. Tong Fu and DK for all you guys that just tuned in. This is the Feng Yun Grand Finals. Best of 5. And Tong Fu, they fought their way here. DK as well. And both of them really earned their spots here. I think it's going to be a pretty close matchup. My predictions probably 3-1. 
I wish it goes to five games, but I'm saying it's three one. I don't know why. I've just this feeling, but it could be three two. It could be three two, and we'll see. Tongfu, they have that. No, DK is lost ban actually. So what do they want to look to ban out? They want to ban out something, a carry that would probably mess with their plans at this point. We'll see what DK decides to do here. They have a Luna Crystal Maiden. What's really good against them? I don't think a Viper will work out too well. Yeah, probably not a Viper. We'd like to see something like a Wraith King or Skeleton King for you guys that are still unfamiliar with the change. Uh, Pogner actually banned out, so they're fearing a Tongfu Tong mass push, to which I think wouldn't be advisable actually. With a Timber Saw on the board, mm, it's really unadvisable to go for a Pogner push like that. But now Chen is going to be banned out here by Tongfu. And... To <coughs> Tongfu, what do they want to pick up here? They could go for. Hmm. Viper is possible, I guess. It's not the best. But it's doable, and it certainly lacks the punch to be able to kill anyone on the offlane if they do want to. Or they could go aggro and then massive crystal made in Luna. Um, Ten else? seconds remaining. Five well, seconds we'll see. remaining. Pugna would have been dangerous to some point, but a push threat rarely works if Timbersaw gets out of hand. And I say, size tends to get out of hand with a Timbersaw. Um, I hear calls for a Razor. Razor is okay. I don't know actually. What would be a good pickup here for Tong Fu? Yeah, they're thinking long and hard about this, maybe. But is DK actually doing the thinking now? They want. Are they gonna go greedy? Jungle that Doom, pick up another mid. Yeah, so they are gonna jungle that Doom and Tom pick up Fu's another middle hero. Pick. So. They probably don't want to face the Razor themselves, I think. That's one of the main issues here. So now Tong Fu, they have that last pick for themselves. What will they pick? They have about a minute to think about this. What will Zhou decide to pick up for his team? And hopefully it won't be too bad of a burden. I think Viper or Mirana at this point. Mirana will be a little bit too lacking in firepower, I feel. Uh, Viper, second, maybe. Seconds, maybe remaining. Viper. Or they could go for something like a Gyrocopter. Is Five banned? No. Remaining. Gyrocopter is an option as well. Gyrocopter sure lacks the punch that, that can be delivered here. Reserve so time. we'll see. But Gyrocopter doesn't function too well against a Razor. I think at this point, having a solo core might not be the best choice. There's a Templar Assassin so to take up some of that carrying weight. But in the end, we'll have to see what they want to go for. What other things are in there? Slark? Slark? Slark's not good against Razor either. And. And it's not definitely not good against Doom. So Troll. I hear for Troll. And But Mushi's Razor has not been impressive yet. So it's Gyrocopter gonna be the pickup here. So they decide that ah well, lesser of two evils. We're gonna go pick up the Gyrocopter. We're just gonna flack them up. But like I said, man, a lot of them are tanky heroes. There's Doom that's tanky, there's a Tibbersaw that's gonna be messing with you and Gyrocopter. Mm, not really good against mobile heroes. Luna runs really fast, Razor runs really fast, Doombringer can run really fast, Timber just swings around like Tarzan, you can't shoot down Tarzan, and of course Crystal Maiden will just be Crystal Feeden, so that's no problem. But it's actually um, it's actually going to be Kabu on that Nyx Assassin, so it's most likely going to be that off lane slash safe lane Nyx Assassin, but there's one thing they could do, they safe lane the Nyx Assassin, put it against Timber Saw, spam the mana burn, can try and stand against it, but if they go on that aggressive tri lane, it better to hell work. There's a Luna and a Crystal Maiden, so it might work. So it's only a dual lane, so if they go on a tri lane, they better have that lane sorted out. Otherwise, they could be seeing themselves out of this game one very, very quickly. Alright, jumping into the game now, we have DK on the side of the Radiant. We have Lanham on the Doombringer. Whoa, this guy is pimped. He's gonna have. Let him on that Doombringer looking pimper and pimper every time. And we have, um, I think this is Daryl, Ice Ice Ice, on that Timber Saw. MMY on that Crystal Maiden, burning on the Luna. Burning on the Luna, and Mushi is gonna take up that role as the Razor. Boots first, on the side of the die, we have Tongfu. We have Tongfu playing Kabu as the Nyx Assassin, Shanxing as the Disruptor of ZSMJ. Zuzumati is gonna be on the Rubik. Oh, are we really going for a level 1 Roche? No, 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 okay. Alright, so what who then missed out? Moves on the Templar Assassin. So on the Gyrocopter and Disruptor are gonna sit there and they are looking to bait. Oh, Mushi, no Mushi, no Mushi. 
Go, Mushi. Go forth and feed us. Seconds to battle. Yeah, they know there's an observer. They know. I don't know what they were trying to achieve here. Tongfu's lineup aren't really the level 1 first blood kind of lineup, so level 1. Not the, really the level 1 Roshan kind of lineup, so they're not gonna try it. Maybe they thought Luna was gonna give something like that, but I doubt it, so now we're gonna. The battle begins. Ice Ice Ice, find Invis Rune, that's a nice one for him. And it looks like the Trilane will be heading up top, so Moo. What? Moo is actually going on the Trilane, it's gotta be solo mid. Dual lane middle? Alright, it's gonna be a dual lane middle, Gyrocopter versus Razor. So Mushi is not gonna have a good time regardless. And Lanham is gonna take to the jungle. It's gonna be MMY and Burning on the bottom lane. Dot comes out. And meanwhile, we have Ice 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 versus uh, Moo on that right click wall. Ice 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 is not gonna come out ahead of this. He has reactive armor. Uh oh. No glimpse. Body block, body block, body block. Yep, right click from him. But he has all reactive armor right now. Oh, sick body blocking coming out from, from the disruptor. This could be first blood. Rea refraction recharged here. Is there a timber chain? No timber chain. DK Ice 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 is in deep trouble. Daryl Cole, Mr. Daryl Cole. First blood will go to Mu. Well played here from Shan Sheng. Just being a little bit faster than the timber sword. 290 compared to 300. Just like creep blocking. So, well. Ice 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 finds himself creep blocked. Mushi's gonna find himself a lot of rockets in his face. So he's gonna take a tower shot. Two tower shots, in fact. But no problem, Mo. Ice Ice Ice. Well, he's gonna die there. Kabu has the impale ready. He's on the safe lane. He's gonna against the Luna CM, and suddenly it's not that difficult. Uh, not that fun for him. Off lane, not safe lane. But Radiant's Mushi boots first. Already attack. has to eat through a lot of his regen. Ice 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 back in the lane there. A little bit. A little bit daunted by that early kill, but seven, seven on burning there. Perfect deny, perfect last hits so far. I would know six zero on that. Oh, on that doom bringer. Are they gonna try something here? MMY only has frostbite, so not gonna give any go at that. ZSMJ gonna take a plasma field, and he's not gonna be that happy with that. Oh, Shan Sheng has to be a little bit careful. Doesn't want to lose that clarity potion, but now that Ice Ice has the chain, I don't think they will kill him. A temp. A uh, Templar Disruptor lane really can't hope to force a Timber Saw out of there. Ice 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 only died because he was way out of position. And now ZS MJ, now taking a second Plasma Field to the face, has to be very careful. Mushi, with the boots first, should not be caught out here. There's no follow up slow, so he should be Starbush, fine. Please. Disruptor picks up a haste. Ooh, this could be bad for Mushi. This could be very bad for Mushi. There's gonna be a glimpse back in there. He hits level 3 just at the right time. This is gonna be Mushi's death. They even toss him back. Easy pickings for Garocopter. So now 0 and 2 now. Tong Fu taking that early, early lead. And of course, Paws. Bandit Paws coming out here from ZSMJ. Kapu. That's going to be sitting here in the bottom lane, just sapping whatever EXP he can get. Doombringer, of course, has been munching, but how does he munch with this on his mouth? Doom is one ugly bugger. So the observer, what can they see this is the question. The sentry, yeah, we can't see anything in unpause mode, and I'm uh, casters are not allowed to unpause, so boo. G, alright, now G comes out. So we're gonna go. Go. 14 last hits for the Luna so far, and 10 for the Templar. So Templar has been doing a good job. The pure damage is gonna hurt Ice 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 quite a fair bit. I'm not so sure if the um, reflected damage or the the bouncy damage or what do you call it. Denied. I don't know what that chain was for. It did cut one creep across, so I guess that's for CSing. But the I don't know if the side blade splash does trigger reactive armor. We'll have to see. Ice 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 intentionally getting some right clicks done onto him. And now Mushi has to be a little bit careful. Garakopter just asserting some dominance in the middle lane. And we'll see Rubik just waiting in the back there. He's gonna bunch on a little of the tangles, the one that needs a long cooldown. Kabu just sitting around with his 0 0 0 0 stats. And someone has playing overly cautious there. Of course, now that Burning has gotten to a certain level, he has to be very careful. I really felt that he could have been a little more aggressive when there was level 1 on the Luna as well as the, as the CM. They really couldn't hope to kill him with just Frostbite, so he could have just sat around and get some EXP, but no. Now he's only going to hit level 2 with still 0 CS. Mushi got a Clarity Potion, Gyrocopter just shoots him in the face. Are you good? And, well, he's going to lose his Clarity Potion there. So, Mushi, Boots, Stick, 
has to force to fly himself some clarities, and no bottle on him so far. Well, we'll see what Isaac Slice is up to. Will he come here and get himself killed? Will he get himself killed? Nope, San Sheng is gonna take a chain. Take a chain? Nope. Oh, he's gonna chain across. He's actually gonna try and kill this disruptor. Ice 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 with the boots and the kinetic field. Gonna slow him down. The cut comes across, and this is where Ice 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 feeds. I know. I just know it. You know, the no. thing is, the thing is, where was the Templar Assassin? The Templar Assassin was really, really slow. That. Come on, give me the Ferrari splash. Nope. Templar Assassin, very slow. Report this fella. Uh, disruptor was running for a really long time, and he just wasn't doing anything to respond to that. And Ice 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 gets a solo kill there. And now Gyrocopter just gonna run down here with the invisibility, with the illusion rune. Are they gonna find this? No. Where's the homing missile? No homing missile as well. So Ice 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 gets a kill on the off lane, and I would blame the Templar. That there was no return kill and now Kabu is in a little bit of a pickle but there's a quick TP reaction here from Sunshine the Lucent Beam will blow him up <laughs> Lanham will step on his face as a result MMY dropping low is that Thunder Strike eh, don't get too greedy burning looking for that Lucent Beam remember he has the pure night vision Dyer's structures are fortified Lanham Dyer's okay. so now it's 2 and 2 Ice and Size evens up the score and a bottom lane kill does get it as well so Kabu getting dived there Lanham with his heavy heavy feet gonna step on someone Meanwhile, Cho, back in the middle lane, his little gank attempt didn't work out too well for him. But in the end, he's gonna just head back here with his Rubik friend and try and get some levels. Level 5 on Rubik, level 4 on Garakopter. Somehow, Cho is lower level than lower level than the Rubik support. So he has been leaving the lane for quite a fair bit. His last hits are not that impressive. It's 18, 28 for the Templar Assassin, 30 for the Luna. So Burning has been keeping up with farm. We'll see if he does keep up to the performance he has been playing the other day. What a stun. Uh, we'll get that single creep there. Mushi, on the other hand, has finally picked up his bottle. Get some wards there. Like I said, Mushi has taken up that support role nowadays. I must say that supportish role. Radiance bottom where tower he is just attack. pretends to be the mid player, pretends to be a core, but in actual fact he's just the number four. And so even if people gank him up, they're doing the wrong thing because the true carries are here. Lanham and MMY, they just truly carry the game. They're support burning and nice size of course, making the plays from time to time, killing off lane heroes on his own, oh, on his no. lonesome. And and now Mu is going to continuously just right click this timber saw back. Caracopter once again. So just thinking it's a good idea to just come gank. And without the without any stuns on the board right now, they might actually get Zou killed here. Zou is only at three, 300 health and the chakram is available for Ice Ice Ice. So Ice Ice Ice, he's just waiting for a chance here. If Zou just shows his face, he's going to probably die. Mushi in the middle lane, he's going to have a huge wrap around on him. There's triple heroes there, tryhards everywhere. And nice, nice movement here from Mushi. He Dyer's will avoid this gank very, very expertly. Where is the second Templar trap? Is he going to walk right into it? There's going to be a Mel Strike. There's going to be a... It's gonna be a Dyer's trap. Gonna be slowing him down. Where's the lift? Fallen. It's nearly in reach, and there Mushi will fall. Number four player will fall down. And now Ice 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 coming here with the chakra. He will find Shan Cheng. Easy kill here. Glimpse. Will he get a kill? Yep, he's gonna TP out right Dyer's away. Shan Cheng not gonna have any of that. And he's gonna pull it out. So good glimpse. Seven minutes in, we have about five kills on the board. It still favors the Radiant. Look at the towers just going down. That's a little bit of this this little party here. They have been going on raids, taking down towers, and getting objectives, getting gold for the team. While Ice 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 is out there making space, Mushi Dyer's being a distraction. Bottom tower is under attack. And Zadis MJ. Dyer's bottom tower. He's level five still. No level six. Cannot steal temple. any kind of uh, cannot steal any kind of funny spells at the moment. Burning. He has treads now, arcane boots on Lanham, so that's gonna help out his whole team. He's going for Doctor Doom. Meanwhile, Ice 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 pick up arcanes of his own. And like I said, man, Tongfu Tongfu's supports really can't hope to deal with a Timber Saw here. Without the help of a Luna support, I don't think he can do that much. And ZSMJ, he has boots. That's about it. He has no ultimate as well. He can't really steal Chakram. You can try and steal Whirling Death to kill off this kill off the Timber Saw, but it's gonna be very, very tough. Plasma Field once again gonna fly out there on oh, Moon. There's gonna be a TP support coming in. Is so he gonna get killed? There's gonna be a glimpse back on Ice Ice Ice. Ice 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 gonna get lifted up. There's a homing missile. Gonna be hitting him as well. Rocket Barrage. Very, very painful. Here comes the boom. And Kaplang. And it's gonna big stunny missile. They're gonna walk through the chakram. They could be all killed here. Oh, very, very close. Very, very close there. MMY comes in here. Drops a Crystal Nova, but not in time. He was just there to watch Ice 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 die. MM. Um, well, not MMY. Moon on the other hand. He's on build lane. He's got his face boots. He's saved up. A little bit of money and he fell chased up a bottle so everyone's into drinking right now and there's got to be a haste rune on the razor burning 
going for a straight BKB after the Ring, ring of Aquila as well as Treads. Nyx Assassin, has, does he have Vendetta? No, he does I... not, but he has lost two Tier two, uh, tier 1s and Tier 2s now, so he has got a lot of towers down on this side. The Creep Wave will push to him, so he will finally get some EXP and the Scorched Earth from Lanham. Lanham will actually look towards his mechanism, I would imagine. Shan Sheng, on the other hand, going to do some big pulling. Ice 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 looking to contest this, but Ice Ice Ice, he lives the life of a dangerous person, and he is going to try and get himself killed again in the most spectacular way possible, but taking as many people down with him as possible. Now it's going to chain across. He's got to find a whole bunch of creeps here. He's got to pull to the side. He knows what's up. This guy. Well, he at least gets two creeps across. Sunshine's going to realize, hey, the roll call is not as good. Now, Mu in a little bit of trouble. He's going to get set, set sentry what? Nope, just melding. And now here we go. That's going to be a doom. Moo's in a lot of trouble. He is going to get pentagram. Is there a deny? Clutch deny? Nope. Whipped by Mushi. And Alto comes in here. He might actually feed here. He might feed. Yep, he's going to feed. Mushi gets two kills. Lanham drops a fade ball. Will not get that kill. Plasma Fuel comes around. That's a triple kill here for Mushi if he wants it. The net. The stolen net. Is that a stolen net? And snare from the Rubik. Oh, that is MJ. He's going to get a triple kill on his side. He's going to toss Mushi to the side. Mushi loses. Oh, he's dead. Fade ball. Mushi. Outstaying his welcome. Outplayed by ZS MJ, one of the living legends in Dota, and so proclaimed by many of you guys in the community. Well, so that was a crazy TP, very crazy. He has been doing a lot of crazy stuff this game, soloing mid, so he says, Oh, I need to gang mid, no gang, noob feeder. That's all the common stuff you see in pubs, so he's just trying not to get that on the board. But then again, if you gank and fail, noob meat feeder and fast, please, you still get those kind of things, so. Ah. No difference. Moo, on the other hand, has his illusion rune. Ring of Basilius. Everyone has a ring of Basilius. I ah, know, he just felt they was needed. Everyone on the side lane tends to get one. 62 last hits on burning. Let's check out the net worth. Three of the cores of DK are right at the top. Lanham. Arcanes and Buckler are uh, available for him. No mechanism just yet because of them uh, diving the tower there. They got a little bit of a kill, but Lanham has been doing a good job so far just diving. And now Mu feels that it's a good idea to dive because why? There's a big wraparound here on Lanham. Four heroes that's trying so hard, but Scorch Earth is a good, good skill. Plasma Fugue go land. This is, this is, this is a triple kill right here. Chakra go land on all of them. Gyrocopter goes down. Mushi, Mushi will fall as well. The, the CM is going to drop her ultimate here, but the Templar doesn't say no, sir. DK kills two at the back. Is that a triple? Do I hear three? Nope, Ice 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 says, nope, it's mine. MMY, will he go down? Frostbite, any clutch frostbites here? He's gonna pop the stick charge and the frostbite. He will drop from one attack, and now that's gonna be a slow. Moo in trouble. What a juke here from MMY. Big place. Like I said, the supports of DK are the ones that really carry this. Oh, Moo. Oh, Moo. Sentry Ward, hello. Goodbye. Lucent Beam. Clearly not your best. Clearly not your best, and well, Luna smacking the top here, 4,000 gold, uh, 2,000 gold, 4 kills on him, and burning, looking good in this game, 4 and 0, no burdening for you guys. On the other hand, Dyer's this guy, her, 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 and burning, he's gonna have a very, very quick BKB, and I'm, I'm really worried for Tongfu. The only thing they have that really messes with BKB is of course that Templar Assassin, and Doombringer, Scorch Earth really munches through those uh, Scorch Earth, uh, no, those refraction charges, so he has to be very careful. Lanham, we're gonna have that mechanism soon. He's just gonna be casting burning here, so he's nope, mine, nope, mine, and he gets it. And now is that a SMJ? Hi, side side, Invis Rune, Templar Assassin, gonna be the meal of the hour, and he is breakfast and lunch now. Moo, gonna have to be very, very careful, but a lot of heroes are coming down here. The Vendetta has been used here by the Nyx Assassin. Oh, Templar Assassin, gonna have a one-shot MMY free food. Moo, in trouble, is gonna stab a lot of damage here. Mushi will, and a Static Storm does come on, so Dice 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 silenced up. Here comes So with the Rocket Barrage, and he's just gonna open fire. All beams! Nope, now here comes the Eclipse, he's gonna beam on a whole lot of creeps here. No one's gonna die, Mushi's gonna fall though. Burning, gonna be blocked, blocked up, he's gonna try and run away, but Ice 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 by himself say hello! Triple kill for me! No, he's not gonna get that loose MP from Ice Ice from Burning, takes the mega kill here by Shan Cheng, in trouble. Joe, run, Joe, Shoduku from the neutral creeps, and he's gonna get Chakram up. so that's a double kill, triple kill, like I said, Katam. Where is that Chakram? Where is that Chakram? He knows he's dead. Yep, he's gonna punch. Triple kill for him. Worth the buyback. Ice Ice Ice. Like I said, you don't want to mess with Ice Ice Ice's Timber Saw. Meanwhile, let him in the middle lane says, Yippee! Free space! And he's gonna take down a tier 1 tower. Fortification is forced out. 14 to 12. The Golgraph favors uh, the Radiant side by 5,000. ZSMJ gonna get Insta Doom Pentagram on him. 
just to get this tier 1 and now he's gonna run away Dyer's feeling the heat of fallen. doom Zeta's MJ Arkane Dyer's can't even Arkane tower. himself he's gonna lose about a third of his HP from this but nothing too much to cry about it did come from the fountain anyway he's not, he lost about half his health and now MMY and if you look at the, at the score now, only MMY is at a lower net worth than Dyer's any of the Tongfu heroes. So MMY has been the hard supporter this entire game, but the rest of the heroes on DK are right at the top of the net worth charts. Tongfu don't even stand a chance in this right now. The XP graph nearly 10,000 in favor of DK. You are too Lanham, meanwhile, picks up his mechanism, going back to farming. He still has the net, burning with the PKB now, so he will not be dying anymore. Or so I say. Observer gonna fall off the pedestal there. Burning not gonna push past the river. Very, very wise choice. Regeneration gonna be found here by Mushi. Mushi's been doing okay. Like I said, he's the designated uh, space creator along with Ai Tsai Tsai. The two Southeast Asians on this Chinese team just doing all the work, buying all the space there. Everyone likes to focus Mushi, but they do not realize that Lenham is just waiting there to come cleave everyone up with his big as sword and now we have more smokes coming here Tongfu really expanding a lot of smokes just to kill Mushi look at this Mushi is just gonna die and he's not actually gonna die just kidding smoke coming out here as well did the Templar Ward see that I don't think so but their, their smoke will be wasted here and so trying to get some farm on the board he's not gonna have any and now he's gonna port down to the bomb lane the ward the wards on the map really 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 minimal and they're gonna wrap around look for this Templar Assassin are they gonna find him is the question and now they see Mu farming so Mu hello loosen beam gets him caught refraction yeah that's gonna work yeah that's definitely not gonna work here Mu tries to go for the Mel trick doesn't work MMY throws a snowball in his eye and now 15 to 12 is gonna be the score of 10,000 gold let him plasma field as well Clear up the creep wave and burning as well as the rest of his team. Gonna look for a push. This is one of the good things about Luna. If you get her um, a BKB early on, she can actually run up to the start of the fights and just charge everything down because of her high move speed as well as the bonus damage she gives to her allies. You can pretty much just win every right click war at the moment. And with her with Troll Warlord is an instant tower dis decimator. The Fate Ball does fly out. It just takes a few of them, reduce their damage by a little bit. But that's not gonna be too much for the Lucent Beam. A lot of stuff aimed at Lanham right now. He is having a bad day thunderstorm over his head the glimpse gonna just jump him from here to here and not gonna do any good there he's gonna ha ha check out the fly oh wow ice 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 nearly blows up kabu kabu is just afk in there saying hey what's up and the loosen beam could have come here and now kabu is just gonna be hobbling there he broke a couple of his legs look at this bug just running from his life call down um Okay, there goes Glimpse. Oh well, at least hits Lanham on the second one. Gets a static storm across, and that's gonna be a kill. Now Eclipse comes here. The knight turns on, and Mushi is gonna whip this Templar into shape, and will bring us down. Mushi just running people down, and Nick Assassin looking for Mushi. Just wanna make him look bad. Impale on three. That's gonna catch him out. The purge coming out from that passive. The homing missile just gonna miss that. The Templar, um, the Templar ward. The Templar ward going off there and burning. Just loose and beaming, claiming up the Kabu kill. And now Ice Ice throws out the Chakram. I think the Rubik really wants that. He throws out the Chakram, so it lifts him up and do, does a lot of damage. The Thunder Strike comes on. Ice 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 out of mana could be a glimpse. No glimpse. Yes, there's going to be a glimpse. Bye bye, Ice Ice Ice. You are in a lot of trouble. Where's that Chakram that's going to be coming out? The Fate Bolt as well. Fate Bolt will do. Uh, 145. 6, 7, 8. Nope. Got to get away. So he will get away. Is there a 4 staff? Do I hear a 4 staff? 5 seconds to the glimpse. Glimpse has been buffed. If they can still see him. At the end of this, nope, they will not. So 17 to 14, that was an okay fight for Tong Fu, but they lost a lot of heroes. They of course lost Mushi again. Razor has been dying a lot. And if you play Razor the right way, you usually tend to get focused. So I wouldn't blame Mushi too hard. Burning meanwhile has been claiming up kills left and right. Seven and one here has dominated this chicken for his pulling purposes. Radiance middle tower is under attack. And now they're gonna push the middle tower. Uh, do they have any AOE on fortified. the line? Yes, they do. They have the timber saw, one of the balance saws. Let him. Has the pentagram ready, he's gonna look for a roll in there. Yeah, here he goes! And Scorched Earth, and who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? He stuns himself, oh that's bad. He stuns himself, could have been a kill there, the call down missing there. MMY gonna caught in the rocket. Where's the Doom coming on? The Doom goes on to Toe. Toe in trouble, BKB here. And it's gonna be right click, right click, right click. Goodbye So he's gonna get Doom burning. Easy kill for him, easy life as well. Lucent Beam gonna stall him up. And he's gonna get caught here, Chakram. The Kabu tries to run away, but he goes into Vendetta. So no dice 
Oh, is he gonna get away? No, yeah, he's probably gonna get away. They're not gonna expend too tower. much to deal with him, and ZSMJ they're gonna do a little side dewarding while his teammates die. Tower tier 2 bottom, tier 2 middle, middle does fall fallen. down. ZSMJ is MJ going back to base there, working towards his force now. Sun Shane only to earn the shadows Dyer's on him. Bloodstone on Timber Soul. He's having an easy game this one. Ice, ice, ice. He has been dying left and right. So no problem. I'll come back and kill you again. And uh, Mushy. Very fast uh, to his BKB. Lanham going towards Vanguard, maybe? Probably a Vanguard. Could be an Atos. Could be an Atos. ZSMJ has a Chakram, which will be very, very helpful in the team fights. One of the best skills uh, you can steal here in this game. Probably Eclipse would be better, or Plasma Field and Doom. Well, there are a lot of good skills this game for a Rubik to steal, so it's a nice hero to pick up. Lanham, mechanism up on him. He's gonna farm the Dark Troll Summoners and the tier 2 up top. Gonna be the next point of target here for the DK squad. They're just gonna sit back on their laurels just for a little while, wait for Mushi to get his BKB, and once he gets the Black King bar, and he's gonna. Gonna go push with his rest, rest of his friends. MMY picked up an Urn of Shadows. Gonna douse his enemies in their own ashes. Ice, ice, ice. What's he looking towards here? We'll see what he buys from now on. Lanham hasn't shown us what he wants. Could be a Rod of Atos, could be the Rod of Aoi. Burning. 1600 gold. The net worth now favoring the entire DK squad. Wow, really? Okay, so I might have picked it a little bit wrong there. Oh, nice carnival of creeps here. Gotta get farmed up. Ice 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 doesn't know that Timber Saw doesn't work on Ancients, but it's okay. And now he's gonna clear it up. Burning, gonna get a whole bunch of farm. They're all gonna share some EXP. Share the love, friends. Crystal Maiden just sitting at the bottom of the net worth, but top four, still DK units. Still DK units. Plasma Field will check out the Alpha Wolves. They'll come here and say, What are you doing now, Territory? I'm sorry, boss. I was wrong. And they're going to get munched up by Lanham on the way out. And they're going to leave one of their kids behind. Traumatized and scarred for life. And burning. Gonna throw the glaives here and there and bring down the tower. And now tier two. I don't think I, uh, I don't think Tofu are gonna defend this. They're gonna try and trade tier one for tier two and possibly Radiant's even end up with a really poor trade. So now they're gonna bring the tower. I didn't realize that the tower, attack. the tower actually takes something like a shield damage. You can see like the tower has some shield effect every time Radiant's it takes damage. And now they're about to trade a tier one for tier three if they don't TP back in time. There's gonna be a lot of TPs coming back. You rainbows. ZSMJ, they're gonna head up top. Mushi, as well as Burning, they're gonna be pushing. There's no Midas nonsense, they are just gonna go right straight into the action. The rocket's gonna fly. Whiz. Such a bad spell. This spell is total ass. Ice Rock needs to remake this to something more fun. Joe? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. They're gonna be smoking up. Now they're gonna look for a not look for a gang here. At MMY with the tranquil boots, Lanham, Mechanism, Vitality Booster. Oh, blink tag. Oh nice! This is a stompy doom. He's gonna blink and wall stomp. So he's gonna act like a centaur. And he's gonna be the Doom War Runner. And there you go, there. Your perfect specimen. Once again, gonna kill the parent. Leave the kid. Haste. Kill the parent, leave the kid. Or rather kill the kid, eat the parrot. Okay, that's that's pretty bad as well. No, no, no. Oh, he's just waiting for the devourer. I, I, I was wondering why he didn't eat it. Now, uh, now MMY is going to freeze it up for him. I like my meals hot. So he's going to warm it up. Oh, ice, ice, ice. Gonna get caught there with flat cannon homing missile. We're gonna be chasing after it, but now the doom stumps him too. Kabu in trouble. So gonna get doomed up as well. The eclipse will catch the poor Nyx assassin off guard. The chicken is standing there watching. The sky take your mushy gonna chase down Sunshine. No glimpsing this guy. And the frostbite will come in. And MY says, You deal with that fella. The gem is on the ground. And they're gonna drop down. Zed is empty. Gonna toss the Doombringer back. But Doombringer has the blink. And uh, the zoning call down. Gonna slow them all down. But mushy says, Hello, Tom. Uh, hello, Zed is MJ. Dropping down real low. The Rubik surviving there on the hair. And he's gonna try to drop a Mel Strike on Mushi, chases him back. But the chicken is here with the mind, with the armor aura, so be tough, Radiant Mushi, be tough, and he gets cancelled by the capital. How many of you hate this? I really hate the siege creep. He does this all the time to me. Whenever I pop a regen, I lose it to the siege creep. Every single Dyer's time. Rip in pieces, Fazil. And now we're gonna have a middle lane tower. In a lot of trouble, so. Burning. Gonna go straight for the Roshan 
And they're gonna, they're gonna take any chances here. Ice 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 on this Timber Saw, just so much, so much good. And now, MMY, free gem on him. They're not gonna push this. Okay, they don't wanna try anything funny, they might get themselves killed. So has a BKB now. 21 to 14, about one third more to kills. The gold graph is obscene, and so is the XP. Ice Ice Ice, whenever he gets Timber Saw, he just rubs his hands in glee, take off his pants, sit in the boxes and just rolls with one leg on the table. Yep. How's that for mental image? Good luck for you guys eating dinner and burning. Now he picks up a Yasha. Going for that quick Mantis style. Oh, I hear BKB popped up here by the M by Mushi. Mushi somehow just diving in there. The Static Storm will slow them all down. The Doom comes out on So. So So is going to take a lot of universal damage, but no worries for that. They will just kill him with Mushi. Don't need for any of that universal damage. Kabu. Um, it's gonna be just running away now. Not gonna try anything funny. So, oh, well, I really like this Blink Centaur Doom. I saw it earlier on in the Nexon Sponsorship League. The Doom Ringer did a similar thing um, to that. And now they're gonna smoke up. Are uh, they gonna find something? Two braces on uh, Nyx Assassin. That's how. That's how desperate they all are. Moon. Just gonna take this time, farm a little bit more. The Roshan will be done here by uh, by DK. So with this Aegis, I think they have a very very easy, very very uh, very easy entrance into the base here. But we'll see. It's gonna be a steal here, but it's SMJ steal. He steals Timber Chain, Ice Ice Ice. Oh, glimpse! Ice 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 back into the hole for you. Fire and hole, but no. <gasps> nice, let him. He stuns. Two, three heroes there with his wall storm, but Ice 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 manages to kill himself, so Sotuku. And now I hear BKB popped up here by Birdie. Birdie goes for it, so doesn't even have a chance. Seven seconds on the BKB charge. Kabu gets blown up. Eclipse too good. GG well played here, says Burning Gaming. And Ladam is gonna charge him down. Where is that stomp? One second. You are not running away. Why are you trying to run away, Mu? You're gonna get killed. Nope. The throne exploding will say, Enough! Stop killing my heroes. And now. They are gonna go into game number two with one game in the belt. DK looking real strong in this best of five grand finals. The winner goes home with five thousand eight hundred dollars, I think. And well, good best of luck to them. Tongfu really need to wake up their game and come back with a better draft. Like I said, Rubik, Nix Assassin, Disruptor. When you face with a Timber Saw, it's not good news at all. The Luna, really, really good pick there by Mushi. Very clever to block pick as well, securing himself that extra push power. And Lenham, of course, playing a great Doom as usual. The supports on DK are absolutely outstanding. And we're going to game number two in this best of five. I'm Lysander Zenora. If you like my casting, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and like me on Twitch. And remember to follow BTS for future updates on all our events. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next game. Much love and Kappa.